So if you see your tire pressure light come on, the normal thing to do is to press this button here and that will reset the system. Uh, that lets the system know that you put air into it. Um, also, that only lets you know that uh, one of the four tires is low. It doesn't tell you which one. So press that button and that will reset the TPMS system. Okay, so I'm gonna start the car, put it on the on position. I'm gonna start my timer here. It's gonna start blinking for 60 seconds. If that TPMS light blinks for 60 seconds, there's means something is wrong with the equipment. Probably it might be the tire sensors themselves that are damaged or the battery might be dead, but they say these batteries last about uh, 10 years. Um, so it could be one or more of the tire sensors, or it could be the computer, the ECU unit itself. And in my case, I suspect that's the problem with this, because a couple years ago I took it to a uh, tire store, and they verified that all four sensors were working correctly. But uh, we'll check out what these sensors are saying now. Okay, so that was 60 seconds blinking. Okay, so now I'm going to scan this front driver's side tire um, using this. There's other instruction online how to use it. Smart car. Yes. Okay, here's that. Something without a... Okay, so no sensor detected because the battery is dead, probably. Over to this one. Okay, we're going to scan this one. Okay, that one. The battery says it's okay, but like I said, these batteries are 12 years old, so. I doubt it's okay. Okay, see how long that one took? That took a while. They should be instantaneous readings. And finally this one. So I got this sensor that's not working at all. So the batteries on these are 12 years old. Um, there's long delay time in reading them. So I'm going to swap those out. See how fast that was. Instantaneous on that one.
Okay, so on all these, they show good. Um, the reading is instantaneous. And this one says battery is okay, but the ones that are working on my smart car, that one, those batteries are 12 years old, so I doubt they're okay. So this is the setup that I have to break the bead on the tire. I tried the floor jack method, and that's probably good for large tires, but it wasn't very good for small tires. So I've got this uh, piece of wood that's bolted up to um, the beam of the garage. So I've got a solid place to work. I'm going to use the jack right there and, and work around it. So here goes. Yep, the bead is broken. Now we'll take out the old one. So now we broke the bead, we're able to expose the TPMS um, sensor. Now we're going to pull the other one out. Um, see how this goes. and that broke off.
there's the old one. <coughs> the nut broke in two getting it off. Um, so again, this is 12 years old. So we'll put the new one right in its place. Plastic nut in, or the plastic washer, metal washer, and the nut. And that's that. Already put our air in it and put it back on the tire, on the car. So here's the TPMS tire sensors when I took them out. All of them broke. Well, that one's intact, but the nut broke on that one. But um, you can see they broke because of trying to torque it off here. That kind of twisted and broke this, um, whatever it is, plastic. So when you take yours out, expect to have them damaged coming out. Got all the sensors, uh, put air in the tires, put the tires back on the car. Um, now we're gonna test each individual tire and sensor, just to make sure. Does a sanity check, make sure everything is working fine um, up to this point. So now that we see that the sensors are working in every tire, it's time to move on to the next step. So I know all the four sensors are good, they're brand new, and with the blinking light that stays on. So the last thing I need to replace is this. This is the TPMS um, ECU electronic control unit. And um, I wasn't surprised that this is bad because like uh, a couple of years ago I had took this in a dealership to test it out to see why it wasn't working and they tested all four sensors and they said they were good and they didn't know what the problem was and they suspected it might be the, the computer and they quoted me $3,000 to replace it. But I got this off of eBay, it's a used one for 30 bucks and I'll show you where this goes. So if you look right under the steering wheel, go directly under it, go up to the firewall, it's right there. It has one connector, um, one connector, and held on by two um, 10 millimeter bolts. Easy to replace that. So I'm gonna replace that out now and see what happens. I just swapped this one out. Um, swapped it out, like I said, easy swap. This is the last piece, the TPMS um, control unit. So now I will turn on the key. You see that's on. Stayed on, and it's off. And it's not flashing, and so we are done. We've got the, we replaced all four TPMS tire sensors and the control unit, and everything is working um, like it was new. Anyways, uh, like I said, this, this, this problem has frustrated me for many years. So I finally went through the 
trouble of replacing all four sensors and the control unit. The total price for the materials was $130. $100 for the um, four tire sensors and $30 for the uh, ECU, the control unit. Um, again, additional expenses if you want to buy that uh, uh, TPMS diagnostic tool, that costs about $130 also. So, there's your smart car TPMS system. Thanks for watching.